Protectors International Agency, of which I myself was a member until recently. Until Quartzmeyer appeared, I suppose. Precisely, during the dream of the platypus. We were waiting for the Trantorians in a cave in Cuba Petty, Australia, when the rocks in the ceiling started raining down on us. It looked like our days were numbered. Right at that moment, a Trantorian appeared through an amoeba point carrying a small sphere in his hand. The NG0, an antiparticle generator that reduces all sorts of matter to nothing. He raised it up and aimed it at the rocks, and they disappeared instantaneously, as if they'd never existed. Since then, Kordsmeyer has been awfully interested in the NG0. He even ordered me to ask the Trantorians for it. When I refused, he tried to have me eliminated. So I was forced to leave my position and flee to this dull hideout. Surrounded by safety measures with passwords known only by Alpha, Trantor's High Commissioner for Earthling Affairs, and now you, of course. So what we know is that Kordsmeyer has managed to get a Trantorian spaceship into trouble. At least enough for it to risk sending a message through Joshua. Whoops! With all this chit-chat, I forgot about the message! Yes, Simon! What is that? Let us join hands, and then you will see. Joshua put a lid on it! Man! Silence! My god, those aliens are like just as nerdy as Joshua is. According to our moral code, they were required to help her. Under normal conditions, we would have cured her immediately, but without the Trentonite, we can do nothing more than keep her in a dream like state. And that is depleting the little energy we have available. Nonetheless, one chance for salvation still remains. Professor James Simon. Centuries ago, one of our reconnaissance ships crashed near the city now known as Palenque. And the Trentonite kept on board may still be in that area. Professor James Simon, find it and a way to bring it to us. And some of the local onion soup. Ever can a single onion you can muster. 
Please. Professor Simon? Are you okay? Just give me a minute or two. I need to warm up. Aren't you hungry too? Holy smokes! We have to keep the Trantorians from giving the NG-0 to Kordsmeyer for sure. In the wrong hands, that weapon could destroy a city the size of Los Angeles in tenths of a second. Dear friends, we must travel to Palenque to find the Trantonite immediately. Or we can begin to say farewell to the world as we know it. You can count on me, Professor. And on Joshua, of course. I bet you're just real hungry, Professor Simon. Hey, why don't we call that sushi guy? Good thinking. May I use your phone? It isn't a safe way to communicate, given the circumstances. Do you mind if I ask why? I know of a friend who could help us out. Someone we fully trust. Magnificent. Then I recommend you sit at my laptop computer and use the impenetrable ultra-safe crypto chat. Provided that your friend is online at this very moment, that is. Uh, Don't worry. I, I, I think if there were one is. person online in the whole world, it'd be Sushi Douglas. Well, I am clueless about the online chatting. Of course, since Tranto is all about telepathic talk. Hey, Sushi, are you there? Do you mean that the Trantorians don't have the internet? How do you think Alpha informs us of trading dates, if not by email? In fact, after reading their email, we type in www.planet-trantor.com and we enter our code so that they will provide us with the details of the transaction. I'm totally they have out a of website. The Nobody told me about any of these. You leave me in awe, my dear friend. If not, where do you believe the network of all networks was designed? In the mind of a simple human? No, it was them who showed us how to build it and use it. What I've never understood is how they get online from other solar systems. I don't know. Perhaps they use neutrino uh, transducers, like in that splendid AT &T? novel by William Garza. Have you got that one? That book must have gotten at least five stars. You wouldn't happen to have anything by Sarah Martin, would you? Nathan? What's up, doll? Think you'll ever find our little pest? Hush, hush, soldier boy. My spider web is about to strangle both him and the monk. And it looks like we got three for the price of two. Your old pal Simon's here. Simon? Uh -oh. ha, I knew I'd end up catching him. Overeducated scientist. Anyway, make him vanish and come to Mama Pronto, lady. Have you already gotten the real pinon to cooperate? I know how to make up his mind. The clock's ticking before the big event. K. Dick, all of Asimov, and, of course, Brian Scullery's complete works. Yuck! What are you doing with that gossipy pop in your library? Allow me to tell you a secret. If you tug on the third volume of his infamous UFO Lies and the Houdini Legacy, you'll see something open up before your feet. A at Simon's house. And that's where my story ends, for now. Sounds like quite an adventure, but you can count on me. What do you want me to do? Think about it, shrimp. While you pull the trigger, I'll stick my finger up the barrel. My fingers get blown off, but the force of the opposite reaction will make the bullet shoot backwards. At a oh. speed nine times faster, <laughs> it'll blow up the gun and your face will get erased. Seriously? I knew you were an idiot. I'm gonna kill him! No one ordered you to do it, Thirteen. They're not paying you for this one. It's the ones inside they want. Well, get a move on before my Christmas shopping begins. Did that spy from Hawaii turn up yet? Not yet, Tarantula. This is getting a bit tiresome. They've been in there for hours. All right, Eighteen, finish off the other two. Then we'll go in and get the spy. Oh, that can't be good. Oh, get down, get Which down. Which one should Ooh. I take out first? The clown? No, the old geezer is more important. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Move, move. Oh, what are you waiting for? Oh, that can't Houdini's be legacy, Joshua. Brian, go after him. What about you? I'll be fine. Everything depends on you now. Run. But jump for Pete's sake. Find that stone. Find it.